Hello, friends and fans. This is Mrs. Goblin, and I'm on a journey, traveling the U.S. as well as other countries, so that I can not only work, but also play in this expansive and exhilarating world of ours. I want to bring my experiences to you, so you can enjoy the beauty, intrigue, and dynamic mix of cultures our world has to offer. I will drive, fly, ride bikes and horseback scuba and raft to wherever I possibly can so that we can all truly embrace the adventure and exciting opportunities that are available to all of us who wish to endeavor in them. So put on your walking or hiking shoes, don your swimsuit and fins, wear your headgear and PFDs or just sit back and relax while I take you with me on some awesome adventures. Please feel free to also like share and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to spread the wonder. Let's take a hike, jump off a cliff, soar over the treetops or dive under the waves of the ocean and get this thing rolling and come along with Mrs. Goblin while she travels. I, along with five other para-curious individuals, went along with our guide, Larry Lawson, from Indian River Hauntings for a ghost and historical walk through Garrow Beach. Mr. Lawson introduced himself as a retired police officer and relatively recent paranormal investigator with the Federal Bureau of Paranormal Investigation. He is also a history buff and regaled us with stories of serial killers, pirates, indigenous tribes, treasure, and the ghosts that supposedly haunt Barrow Beach. I just heard recently, and I'm going to call it just a rumor, but there are some people who believe the ice might have been, might have been related to the Aztecs because of their ability to swim and their ability to produce the water and they dress in a lot of their customs. I don't know where that's going, but I find it interesting nonetheless. But bottom line is the ice left here, they were gone by the early 1700s. energy-based, okay? And how what happens with us is we ask questions and we give specific directions. In this case, the answers are yes, cross, no, spread apart. Uh, we'll ask where they might be standing and stuff. Uh, some folks hold them like that. Uh, I wouldn't hold them straight down, but I, I would give them a little downward hand 
Evan likes to do it because that gives you a little, you work a little bit about against gravity, okay? Uh, so it gives you a little extra. Now the wind is not bad today. Uh, we can sure look at those. Hey, guys, if uh, you're here tonight, I've got some new friends I'd like to introduce to you. Um, if you're here, if anybody's here, could you, somebody just cross the rods for me? Anybody, just cross the rods and let us know you're here. Anybody else here? Can you, can you uncross those rods for me and make them parallel? Not you, though. Can you uncross them for me? Make them parallel again for me. There you go. A little bit more. Just straighten them out for me. A little bit more. There you go. Now you'll notice this is blinking right now. Like I showed you when you had man-made energy. You didn't get burst like that. That's the sort of thing we were looking for. Frank, if this is you, if you're here, my friend, uh, we just want to say hi. Can, if it's you that's here, Frank, can you cross anybody's rods for me? You can cross one. You can cross them all. Whatever makes you more comfortable. If, you, if it's you, Frank, cross somebody's rod, cross the rods for me. What's your first name, man? Susan. Okay. There you go. Um, do you stay? Okay. Try not. Try not to move. Okay. Again. Do you point to where you're at now, Barbara? Point to where you're at now. Okay. So that's. We do that. Sometimes we'll take a person, we'll have them, you're standing like this, and they'll point, and we'll have them turn around and see if they do the same thing. Oh, excuse me, and that's what happened in this case. Thank you, Barb. Go ahead, and, go ahead and straighten out the rods for us again, if you could, please. Can you bring that? There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, do you stay with, do you, do you watch over Susan? Are you watching over Susan? Interesting. But most importantly now, is, is your phone on airplane mode, Dawn? No. Okay, then you, we really can't. Yeah. This, this could be going off because of that. But if any of these other ones are going off, a lot of times, like for example, I had a oh, teenager come in, really likes to sit right there. And I think it might be Jenny. Um, does anybody else have any questions they want to try and ask? Anybody? Can you straighten out M's rods for me? Because I'd like to know if there's anybody else here right now. Go ahead and reset. Yeah, go ahead and reset yourself. Okay, so we know we know what Barbara's here. Is there anybody else here? If there's anybody else here with a loved one, if one of my friends here are your loved one or you're with them, can you cross their rod for me? Their rods, can you do that for me? anybody here? The driftwood inn is where our tour began and ended. The inn was opened in 1937, conceived and constructed by local Barrow Beach eccentric and businessman Waldo E. Sexton. As Mr. Lawson described Waldo, he stated that he may have been the first garage sailor going around and buying all sorts of oddities and decorating the inn with these items. It is said that Waldo's spirit roams Vero Beach and especially is in to this day. It made me think of the current Where's Waldo puzzles. The Treasure Coast is comprised of the Martin, St. Lucie, and Indian River counties, and depending on sources, Palm Beach County. The term was coined in 1961 after Salvers discovered the 1715 Treasure Fleet, which was lost in a hurricane near the Sebastian Inlet. Stories and sightings of shipwrecked sailors and conquistadors who traded along the coast and succumbed to the ocean still entice treasure hunters and the pair curious to this day.
hope you enjoyed my latest video. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to my channel so you may continue to travel along with me. Take care and happy hauntings.